Hey guys, um, hey, welcome back to my channel. Oh, hello, if you're new. Anyway, guys, today I'm doing a movie review. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so basically, the new Craft, Craft Legacy came out. Um, I've been, I've been looking forward to watching this movie for a while. Anyway, it freaking dropped, came out. I basically. You know, the trailer looked very interesting. Um, side note, I grew up watching The Craft. I've, I've said, I've said for fucking years that there should be a sequel, and I was really glad that they made a sequel. Anyway, um, it tells the story about this girl that moves to this new town with her mom, and they move in with this guy. That her mom's dating and his sons. Anyway, um, basically, I really liked it, especially the fact that there's a lot of like you know LGBTQ reputation in the movie. Like you know what's crazy is there was well you know okay so let me straight up get into okay I'm going to talk about the negatives and then I'm gonna talk about the positives. Negatives. The showdown. Okay, so. One thing I really did like about the first craft movie was the fact that the showdown with the main chick against Nancy and the other girls. This one, there was no showdown like that. Which I was kind of disappointed about because I fucking love that showdown with like Nancy versus um, the main chick. I forgot her fucking name. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sarah. But there's an anyway that and the ending fucking pissed me off. Basically, it's like this, like the ending's a cliffhanger, and I'm like, there, there has got to be a fucking third one. Like you, you cannot, you, you cannot leave as fans hanging like that. You can't. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, you know, I, the showdown, the ending were the two things I didn't care for. The movie, okay. That and the fact that there's now there's not a lot of backstory to these other three ch chicks, which bugged me because the original one there's backstory about all the other girls you know telling about their their home lives outside of school outside of hanging out with each other. There's none of that in this movie at all. Um, yeah, I mean I'm I'm, I'm gonna be one hundred like straight up half of the movie felt like I was watching a episode on fucking. Riverdale, because they, you know, they made it very teeny and it basically felt like I was fucking watching Riverdale, basically, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, honestly, I give this movie an 8. I rated it an 8 because the ending fucking bugged me. The showdown with the villain, I, and I felt like I was watching... Guys, I honestly felt like I was watching a fucking X-Men movie. I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Like, out of the blue. It's like they, it's like they pulled that out of their ass. You know, there was like, I mean, one of the powers the girls, all the girls have each other was telekinesis, where they were able to talk to each other, which I thought was interesting that they did that in this one. But, um, you know, yeah, you know... Not everybody that watches this movie is going to like it. You know, I hope tomorrow I'm watching it. Like, literally, my crazy ass. I work, I work, I work night shift, literally. So, I bought this movie when I was at work. And I was like, fuck it. When I get home, I'm going to watch it. So, I literally came home straight from work and watched this fucking movie. But then I'm thinking, oh my God. I'm like, you know, I like Black Christmas. New one, even though a lot of people fucking hate that movie. I really liked it. Anyway... Um, you know, and another thing I kind of wish they had was I wish they had the original actresses in it, like, you know, to pop up and shit and, you know, give the new girls advice. You know, basically what I thought was going to happen in the movie, which I was really disappointed about, was that I really thought the main chick was going to become evil and, you know, and, and, you know, and get consumed with the power and, like, want to take down the other girls, but... 
that didn't happen. I was disappointed because the trailer made me made me think that. And you know, there's no Polaroid or Nancy in, in the fucking movie. I don't know where the fuck they got that shit from. I didn't see that in the fucking movie at all. Yeah. I mean, I'm just kind of glad that, you know, that the movie was a little different from the trailer because the trailer uh, made the movie look a lot different than it actually was. Like I said, not everyone's going to like this movie. Um, yeah. There's going to be some people that <laughs> are going to be iffy about watching it because they're like, oh, really? A craft sequ sequel? I mean, I'm like this. Like, they ha they they've got to make a third one because that cliffhanger fucking pissed me off. Really did. I I I'm not gonna fucking lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh yeah, Bl Blonde House. Y'all gotta make a third one, and this time bring back all the original actresses for the first one, so we could have the whole Nancy story. You know, give us. As the the OG fans, a conclusion that we fucking want. I love you guys. Peace. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and.